Welcome to a ViewSonic how-to. My name is Ray, and today I'm going to be showing you how you connect one of our portable monitors to a Android smartphone. In this case, we're using a Galaxy product, and it's very easy. So if your smartphone is equipped with a USB Type-C, you can usually get away with just one cable connecting the two together. And you, we include a USB-C cable in the box with our portable monitors, and that's all you should need. So let's go ahead and get this configured right now. First thing we want to do, connect our USB-C cable to our portable monitor and connect that to our smartphone. Uh, it'll then take a minute for the display to turn on, and then this display will actually be powered by the smartphone. So that's where a little asterisk comes in. Uh, some uh, portable devices with Type-C will not power the display, but many of the modern smartphones will. Um, so your mileage may vary depending on what model. And now you can see the screen is on and it is mirroring the content uh, from this phone. They're showing the exact same thing. And because it's in portrait mode right now, that's what it's going to show on the screen. But if you go to, say, an internet browser and you rotate the display of your phone, uh, you will then get a larger screen experience on your portable monitor. So this is excellent for mirroring that content uh, that's on your smartphone. If you want to do bigger productivity apps from your phone uh, and have a way of doing it that you can see more easily or share with another person. Uh, one added benefit that we have is because this is the TD1655, uh, TD meaning touch display, uh, touch is supported as well. It's natively supported in Android, and so the screen will carry that touch data from the display to your phone, so you can use the display as an input device for controlling your smartphone. So as you can see, uh, with a simple uh, ViewSonic portable monitor, connecting to a smartphone, especially an Android one with USB-C, uh, could not be easier. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you. Please watch this space for more helpful how-to videos going forward.